Yeah, I think he might kill us in the counterattack. Sort of not opposed with him attacking us, though. There we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to rest here. I don't think he's going to kill him. There's a Forbidden City as well. Really not a surprise. Uh, an industrial zone would be quite good. And yeah, this will be the site for it, for sure. Gotta get our universities rocking. And I'll move you into this city. You've got so much healing to do, that I think it's worth spending a turn to move into the city. We need to regain friends with Straya. I'm hoping... Cobble here attacks? No? You just stand there? Did he attack and we didn't see it? I don't think so. I think this unit would be a lot lower here. Bam! Alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to do another round of, um, of builder building. But I think for now we're okay. They want to build the stables next. Do we have something unique with the stables? I don't usually prefer the stables. I don't think we have a unique stable building, do we? Oh shit. That's actually kind of annoying. We can build more hippodromes, but that's our entertainment district. I know your, our Hippodrome gives stable units, but I don't think that having a stable... Like, okay, if you have a stable and you build cavalry units, they will come out with more... Like, they'll gain more XP from combat. So presumably, if you went encampment, stable, then built a Hippodrome, it would give you a free cavalry unit that gained a little bit more XP. It does not, doesn't seem like a combo to exploit, though. Does it? Oh, um, hang on. I gotta remember I could build this right away. Possible? Possible? Wait another turn. We'll get another one. So we need to reform the religion until we can't reform no more. We have to get an inquisition going on as well. I'm gonna go Tortoise. So very early on, I like to give them the generic combat strength one, but later in the game, it's being able to tank range attack and become stronger. Bap. All right, we're gonna knock this out. Um, I guess I don't. I guess we won't get error score from doing that. We're not at war, right? You need to evangelize belief. Each city following this that has a world wonder. I mean, sacred places wouldn't be bad. We have Stonehenge. We have a world wonder. And we could get more. On the other hand, just tithe. Or we might just want um, just being able to spread more. Which is... Monastic isolation actually is pretty strong. Although it might be stronger to just, you know, not lose religious combat. I think scripture. Let's get scripture. If we're actually going to try to go for this type of victory. Um, and then we'll evangelize again. Yeah, I think we will tithe. 
Not as sick as like Civ 5 tithing, but it's pretty good. Still miss Civ 4 religion. You gotta go and do some Civ 4 at some point. There we go. Oh, we got air score for that too, although I think we're still gonna Dark Age. But honestly, maybe I, I should have waited to because then we could um Maybe I won't start the Inquisition yet. I don't know. We might get air score for that. We might just leave ourselves in a dark age and set ourselves up for a golden age. That might be better. All right. Weak navy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got lots of units on the front with Australia here. Uh, Every man I'm only worried about Australia's science rate, and luckily though, if they do move towards a science victory, we're in a good position to maybe challenge them. Oh right, drop professional army. Hold on. Wait. Upgrade. And do we unlock? Um, did we unlock divine right? No, because we're waiting for the boost on that. Oh, there it is. So it doesn't really matter what we do, because we're going to make a change again soon. Pick up Conscription. I'm going to leave everything the way it is. And then we're just going to change. We're going to have an opportunity to change again when we pick up. Um, um, and I got to buy the Apostle for the Inquisition. So I'll just wait for now. Surely everyone wins a science victory. Well, I suppose humanity wins, but not me, so it doesn't count. And that's not per turn. I have Niter? Is it coming from a city-state? I forgot when uh, we finished the tech for Niter. Oh, uh, we got our unique unit. And this point, touching upon the well, and we're going to get Era score from switching to Monarchy. Okay, let's just go for it. As long as... Uh, what I just didn't want is to just barely not Dark Age. That would be annoying. Amenities? And actually, we'll go with Veterancy because we've got some buildings to build there. I think the rest is going to stay the same. Please don't newt Australia into oblivion. We'll try and be less smart, I promise. Uh, yeah, we can ship. The other thing we can do is I will purchase the Apostle. I don't have enough money for a boat. I'm hoping the um, Inquisition gives us uh, an error score. I expect it to. Actually, Hagia Sophia would be really good. I mean, there's nothing up here. Uh, you know what you can do? You can go beyond explore. Sell Diplo pay for money and buy a boat. That's not a bad idea. I saw a bank that said twenty. Oh, uh, oh, hold on. N uh, normally, it's always intelligence agency because spies and spies are amazing. But Grandmaster's Chapel, buy land units with faith. We are gonna have a lot of extra faith, and then it gives us extra faith per turn. Which is, I think, what we need to do. Oh, and I do have the governor points. Uh, Moksha. Citadel God, city ignores religious pressure. Uh, gains faith equal to 25% of construction costs when building's finished. Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep working on Maki here. And actually, speaking of... Uh, oh, that's not a religion. It is being pushed, but we're going to have to go and inquisit that shortly. Speaking of Inquisition, we're going to launch it. That did give us error score. I think we will get two from our first boat. 
so how much money do I need to build a ship? Also, well, we'll get it. We'll definitely get it if we build the Drawman. 480. Can we get 480? Well, we might have to shop a few different places. Um, first of all, oh, you have Jade. Dang. Would you like to buy iron? Would you like to buy like 40 iron? I really need, I need money up front as much as possible. If you please. Would you do 300? Would you do 200? Would you do 250? Would you do 225? Binary search. Ooh, no. Uh, 210? 215? 220? 217. Okay, we'll just call it there. So that's one. We need 480, so we need some more cash. All right, we're still... Um... We'll have to make some smaller deals. Hey, listen, I would you like a uh, would you like ten horses? Okay, tell you what. Oh, I can keep. I can click like this. Hmm. Oh. Oh, you got a fuck ton of horses. Hold on. You know what you don't have though? Niter. Niter. Forty two. Hang on, you need Jade before I do this. Really, you won't pay much for this, will you? Maybe because it's possible to break the deal. Which could I get? 142. Okay. All right. Uh. Wait. Why are we? Is it confused about needing error score? Oh! Yeah, so we got six points from that. Because two for the first ship. Four because it's a unique unit. I don't think we can get another ten. Although we have six more turns left. Um... If we convert cities, I think we get Aeroscore. Rocks in my path. Oh, that's all my faith. Okay. You can go just be auto explore. Oh shit balls. Oh 
Oh, he ran away. Because Caravel is definitely a stronger unit than Drummond. Yeah, let's just park yourself in here. Yeah, we need more than one to be able to do this. How much do I need for my next one? 160. All right, well, next turn. Here, the dark brown amorphous bus. That'll give us a little error score. Only one. Oh, didn't actually next turn. That's some automated movement by our scouty unit. What gunpowder did for? Uh, actually, the Inquisitor. Let's use a charge over here in Plain Coast Hills. That's what we need to do. I could have chopped first, but no, we'll just get it started. That's gonna be fine. Uh, go for a monument. Second Inquisitor. Yeah, no Golden Age. Oh, that's... Uh... Well, I mean, I didn't want a Dark Age either, although we might have been able to not Dark Age. What I should have done is... Hmm, I, I could have delayed the drama until the last possible turn, which is really what I should have done. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy a trader. I think I will build it here, though. I think that's okay. Let's go stand here and defend this city. That's going to be fine. Um, let's move down here. Oh, we're going to put a cut in here. Uh, farm, yeah, volcanic land. Uh, we need to do a, a sit of uh, building builders anyway. The thing is, we won't, we don't have time to do it here. That sucks. But what can you do? Um, I don't know if he can attack us if we're in a city. Can't? Okay, that's good. Yeah, sure. Oh, right. I needed to send someone to Plain Coast Hills. We still need to go that way. Now. The three great elements. So theocracy will give us that combat, and their enthusiasts, so we get error score out of it. Um, we don't need veterancy. I want to keep conscription. National philosophy is still good. We're also going to run. Um, I do. Um, okay, actually, just like served them over there. Uh, religious orders, and actually, it might not be a bad idea. Is it just this? We not, oh, there's the scripture. You run scripture for a little bit, for a little bit of faith. But yeah, I shouldn't have attacked. I should have waited because it turns out we're going to be so much stronger now. Um, we're going to really reform the coinage now and hope we can increase our trade routes. Oh, yeah, hold on. We can probably get alliances. Okay. Who has formed the various religions? Oh, you know what I should do? Okay. If we have a religious alliance, there's no there's no pressure. But they don't have their own religion. I'm hoping this is not No, I guess it's just cities don't don't do each other. Well, if I'm gonna convert anyone first, it might be Australia. Did Australia found their own religion? No. Okay. There's religion over here, but it's not their own. Although, then we won't be able to apply pressure to them. Never mind. We want to be able to pressurize them. Okay. Let me just religiously ally you. 
Uh, we will scientifically ally John Curtin. Should have done this a while ago. Uh, Robert the Brucey, I will do a cultural alliance. We don't have any cultural pressure with each other. It's not a problem. Um, and Poundmaker will, uh, I don't know, get an economic alliance. Never again can I gaze. Okay. Right, because we get all kinds of vision. I don't know if that was the right series of um, alliances to form, but it seems okay. I think I'm gonna get another couple of um, missionaries here because we gotta we gotta murderify some some Cree um, apostles and missionaries and stuff. Although I also need more stupas. Can I just build a stupa? Probably build a campus, actually. I'm going to put a unit here in a choke point. Just to be annoying. Um, I don't remember. Do we need... Was it a policy we needed to be able to heal in a city? Yeah, there's a policy that lets your religious units heal in a friendly city, right? I don't remember. I don't usually play religious. Oh, is it? Is it military for some weird reason? War is a religion? Oh no, that's something else. Do we not have it yet? Maybe I just saw it in the list and I don't actually have it. Oh, it was a reformation, which we didn't take. That's what it was. Okay, so we don't have that. Um, so what we need to do is we need to move you to, like, a holy site here. Well, let me move you out of this. Oh, I can't right now. Okay, well, that's fine. Then just move to here. I mean, we do have more strength, but no. Let's convert this first. All right. Well, we've gone 10 minutes over. I think now is a great time to put in a cut. We got a religion. We've reformed the the heck out of it. We've reformed it to the max. Uh, we've got the Inquisition. We can start doing some warfare, religious warfare. We can start spreading it to Australia. Uh, if we can flip them to our religion, um, our continent's going to be in pretty solid shape. And then the big thing will be the Cree, because they actually have a religion, and they're clearly spreading it pretty aggressively. Um, and we might have to go and duke it out with them. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we got a lot of the world map because of our alliances. A lot of a world map. Hey, uh, let me meet some vampires over here. Where the Cullens live. Do, do, do. We did skip CK3 last weekend because on uh, on Saturday, uh, I couldn't stream on Saturday. I did do a bonus stream on Friday. Um, but yeah, so we did skip it. Plan is to play Crusader Kings 3 this Saturday, however. And we're going to be continuing the Count of Anjou. Thanks everyone who came out today. Thanks everyone who subbed, who resubbed, everyone who contributed to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fun. A uh, Kiss for Luck is currently streaming some Elder Scrolls online. We're going to go and give her a raid. I'm going to see you guys in a couple of days. And now I'm going to go and spend the rest of my day obsessing over various election results. Um, and, you know, feeling my heart rate just go through the roof. Thanks, everyone. Uh, I'm going to see you guys in a couple of days. Bye-bye.